What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about Silver's recent jump to above $18 an ounce, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs. And the limited edition Can't Stop Stack and Won't Stop Stack and t-shirt and hoodie. It's going away this week. Get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about silver surpassing $18 an ounce once again. Now, for those of you who have been paying attention, I know I've received several comments over the last couple of weeks or maybe the last month or so saying that silver has been relatively stagnant for the last month, maybe month and a half, it's been kind of sitting at or around maybe 1725 to 1775. It hasn't really done anything drastic in a couple of weeks. But as of November 1st, silver has climbed all the way up to almost 18 and a quarter, it's sitting at $18.19 as I am filming this video. It's also important to remember that it hit that number on Friday. I'm filming this week video on the weekend, so it's pretty much locked in place. I guess we'll figure out tomorrow what Silver's going to do next. And while we're at it, please head on down to the comments. And what do you think Silver's going to do next? Do you think it's going to dip back down? Do you think it's going to keep going back up? Do you think it's going to remain at or around 18, 19 for a bit? Let me know your predictions. Also important to remember that none of us are psychics, it's all speculation, and we're all kind of hoping that it does one thing or the other. But I wanted to talk about this because I have received comments in the past talking about, oh, when would you stop stacking, or when would you sell? First and foremost, when would I sell? That is a pretty good question, and the answer is, I would sell when I retire. I don't want to sell in the meantime. I think it's kind of counterproductive to be converting my fiat paper currency into actual money. And if that actual money increases in value for whatever reason, to convert it back into dying, crumbling fiat dollars, that doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, when would I stop stacking? I don't know. I don't know when I would stop. And if I did stop, it wouldn't be for... It, it, I wouldn't stop indefinitely. I would just maybe slow it down for the time being. I've been saying it for the last year and a half at this point. Anything below $20 is an opportunity, in my opinion and from my perspective. I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take it as financial advice. But I believe anything below $20 is a fire sale, but that's just me. So what were to happen if silver were to surpass $20? Let's just say silver goes to $23.50, just arbitrary number. Would I stop stacking? Altogether, no. Would I slow down? Y yeah, probably. Most definitely, I would slow it down. Because oftentimes, what goes up comes back down, so... I would kind of cross my fingers for silver to drop back down below, you know, 19, 18, 17, $16 an ounce again. That way I can start stacking a little bit more aggressively. But I could still see myself stacking above $20. Truth be told, I have so much faith in silver. I believe it's going to do much more than $23 an ounce. Silver has already gone to 30, 35, 40, and beyond. Metaphorically, I say it all the time, metaphorically speaking, if it happened yesterday, it can happen again tomorrow. So no, I don't think I would stop altogether at 20, 21, 22, 23 dollars, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. What I can see myself doing, like I said before, I'm not selling 
But instead of selling, this is what I would do. Once again, I've said it plenty of times. I take that silver and convert it into gold, assuming that the silver to gold ratio gap closes in a little bit if silver were to jump, like a significant jump, and by that I mean like double, go up to $30 and beyond. Assuming that that happens to silver and gold doesn't take that big of a jump, if the gap closes in, I would convert some silver into gold. As I've said plenty of times in the past, I believe silver is the opportunity metal. It has the most room to grow and perform over time, in my opinion. Make sure you do your own research and formulate your own opinion on that. I believe, from my perspective, that I'm going to see the most gains from silver. I personally don't foresee gold doubling or tripling in value anytime in the near future or anytime in the future for that matter. I've been wrong in the past though. I could be wrong here, but I personally don't believe gold is going to do anything completely off the wall. With that being said, I believe I'll see the most gains from silver. In my opinion, it's the opportunity metal, has the most room to grow and perform over time, while gold, on the other hand, is the ultimate form of wealth preservation, in my opinion. So why not capitalize on the opportunity metal when it shoots up and preserve those high silver spot prices by converting them into gold? That's just the way I see it. That's just the way I'm doing things. That's my plan. My plan is subject to change. I'm just thinking out loud over here. But back to the spot price of silver, $18.19. Last time we saw $18 silver, I mean, we did see it on October 25th when it hit $18.01, but that only lasted for a couple of hours and started to go back down a little bit. But last time we actually saw $18 silver was probably mid-September. I'm looking at the chart right now. It says September 25th, 1808. And before that, man, 1873. I'm going to be honest with you. At that point, I was getting a little scared. And go back a little bit further. The beginning of September, 1950. I was getting nervous. I was getting really nervous. I was like, oh, no, please don't be it. Not yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for $20, $25, $30 silver just yet. I want to go back to maybe... You guys remember the spot price around this time last year? It was $14 and change. I believe November 13th. $14.08. Take me back. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Just posted three new silver and gold themed vlog style videos, a hidden camera pawn shop integrity test, the can't stop stacking, won't stop stacking video, along with the brand new mystery industry where I talked about it from an outsider looking in. There's a lot of money being made there. And truth be told, I was fascinated by it, so I decided to make a video. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you guys want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some t-shirts and hoodies that are precious metal themed. And the brand new Can't Stop Stacking, Won't Stop Stacking t-shirt and hoodie. It's limited edition, and this is the last week you are able to get one. So get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what do you think Silver's going to do next? And obviously none of us know for sure. There's a lot of people out there who guarantee that Silver's going to do this, and they're usually wrong, which is kind of funny, I guess. But what do you hope Silver does next? That's probably a better way of wording it. Do you hope Silver continues to climb? Do you hope that Silver is on the beginning stages of quote-unquote skyrocketing? 
Do you think or hope silver is going to come back down and you can capitalize on getting more silver for a smaller dollar amount? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.